Yo, what's up my lovely Poker Pickers? It's your boy Welsh Poker Picker and today I've come to Hennegray to source anything for eBay, CEX, game. So let's have a look what we can find. How much for them a uh, couple of toys? Go one, two, three, four, five. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty. Now that we've been to the church one, let's go to the animal down below, and the library one. <laughs> Luna Jim, I've got them action figures, so I might pick them two up and I can bundle them up. That's one for Ian's brother. Look at this, guys. That is one for me. Queen. Medium. That will definitely fit me. All the clothes are £2. £2 for Iron Strikes, £2 for all them books. What an absolutely cracking shirt that was, guys. And I paid a pound for the three books. Just because with the books, they uh, just asked for a small donation. So I said, would you do a pound for all of them? She said, yeah. Just so yeah, three quid, not bad. Morning. <coughs> Ninja Turtles. I'm gonna have to look at them How much for the two um, action figures? Which one? Yeah, it's just them two. Now walking towards Pandy. Are we now in the town part? That was nice. I've just seen uh, some of my Poke Picker fans. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Ten bob meat. Nothing in there, guys. So let's have a look if the, the one at the bottom is still open. If not, that's it for the end of the day. Right, let's see you guys back in the Poké Cave. Yay, they're open. Guys, it's Pokémon. No, it's got a hole in the back. Still like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could probably take it down to build a bear gear fix. How much would that be? Um, let me go. Oh, 
How much? Three pounds for the coat. Yeah, and there's another another one in here, so. Ten. Pound for him. Pound for him as well. One piece. Oh, she said one for everything. Yeah. Oh my God, guys. Three Pokemon plushes for four pound. What good timing that was. And it's always worth asking, because you never know. Um, I don't mind a little small bit of hole. I can probably take it down to Build-A-Bear. Maybe one of the boys in Friendswick can fix him up. Or I can just put him in the glass cabinet with the others. Who is, guys? Part of the Squirtle family. <laughs> Collection's getting bigger. <sighs> and we're now back in the Poke Cave. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the quick pickups. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna update you as well, guys, on what I picked up from last week as well, from uh, Bridgend and from the shed as well. So let me show you guys what I picked up. And from last Thursday, I picked up uh, uh, Minecraft for the Xbox One for twelve pound. I'll probably show a little video clip as well of me picking it up. So yeah, not bad, twelve pound. And then for £12, I picked up this bundle of uh, Pokemon DVDs. Uh, they were a pound each. Uh, like again, there's another video clip. Uh, one of them I'm going to keep as well, which is the... Um, I can't remember. Uh, something of Dark Ray. I haven't got that in my personal collection, so yeah, that's not bad. And then I picked up a, a glass bowl. Uh, for one of the boys, that was £12.50. And then I took it down to the shed. And uh, he gave me £20. So I made a, a small profit of £7.50 for the Poke Fun. So cheers, Tom. Much appreciated, Matt. And we also had the Scarlet and Violet uh, new ETB box. This was £49.99. So yeah. Can't wait to crack this bad boy once uh, I cover the costs. So yeah, not bad. And then afterwards, then on Saturday, I took a uh, that big uh, collection. Oh no, big collection, a small bundle of um, Wallace and Gromit stuff for Gethin, and he gave me ten pound for all of that stuff. So that's going into the pocket fund. So cheers, mate, for that. And uh, yeah, so not bad. And we got one eBay sale. So let me show you guys what sold on eBay. Well, guys, we managed to sell the sealed. Laura and Hardy box set, even though there's a few bits uh, peeling off, but the buyer still purchased it for £35 plus, uh, uh, not not plus the postage, free the postage. <laughs> You've got to get that correct. <laughs> so that's for the Pokey Fun. And thank you very much to the person. So let me show you guys what I picked up on Tuesday as uh, I went to work. Oh, also the shed. Uh, as we were sorting out the, uh, the stuff. We had a couple of DVDs, and I decided to have this box set, which is the Sherlock Holmes. Uh, that was a pound, so that's going towards the CEX pile, or uh, don't know either for trade or for their cash. Uh, the Sean the Sheep. This is a, a, this is going for Gethin as well. So I'm always on the verge of looking for stuff like that for him. And this is for my personal collection, the Gummy Bears. <laughs> I used to love watching this. That's one in the, the Disney collection. And then Brave Star. And this one's gone for either the CEX or the uh, game trading for some uh, Pokemon products. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I've already got this on the PS4, so but it's still not bad for a quid. So they were uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But also I got a little video clip as well. We had some Pokemon items come in, uh, a mishmash of little bits like Pokeballs and the McDonald's stuff. And uh, I picked a little bit of the figures out, uh, so I had them with the DVDs in the game, all for a fiver. So like always guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a lovely comment down below what you thought about the pickups and the uh, the eBay sale. <laughs> I know it's not a lot, but uh, yeah, so like always, make sure to uh, leave a like, make sure to... Uh, Thunder Punch, Bubble Beam, Rock Smash, Earthquake. That subscribe button down below. I've been your boy, Welsh Pokey Picker. Keep on picking.
Peace.